And just a reminder, you have until Christmas Day to submit your topics of discussion for the Bill's pregame show in the comments section below to be eligible for our cash prize. It's cash, people. Do it. Welcome back to Buffalo's Bills pregame week 16 as the Bills get to right face off against the Fish for the second time this season. And top story of the week, Miami, though it wouldn't seem so, is still in the hunt. And there's not an outside chance of them winning. They have to win out, which means they have to beat the Bills and the New England Patriots, which might be the toughest obstacle for them to overcome. But do you think the Bills have what it takes to play spoiler against the Miami Dolphins this year? Um... I'm not too sure. We still, during the end of the year, let's put everybody on injured reserve shuffle. So I pretty much think the Bills are done for the season. Um, we can't play for a draft pick because we don't know what to do with them. So I don't uh, I, I don't think they're going to go down there when they should, but I don't think they're going to do it. You think that Buffalo is a better team? You say they should win? If they actually played with the players that they have and used them the way they, they should be used the right way, then, yeah, we could probably win a game. If they ran the ball and let Fitzpatrick stick to the dumps because that's what he's good at, he's not a good long passer. If he sticks to what he's good at, then we could win the game. But they don't know how to play with what they have. So you think Miami has that much better coaching that they're able to overcome a less talented squad and beat us? I don't know about that, <laughs> but I think the Bills have a way of losing games. <laughs> they do. Yeah, they don't there's, win games. They lose, they, they lose games, so one, I think they have a way of doing that. One thing analyzing every game here at the Bowlers pregame teaches you, that the Bills will find a way to lose yeah. for certain, as they got crushed terribly this week against the Seahawks. <coughs> um, I want to talk about everything they did long, wrong, so but I feel like that would take way more than a lot of time. Was there anything that you saw good about the Seahawks game? Um, no, I can't think. I can't think of. I mean, it, I didn't think. I didn't expect it to go that bad. I mean, yeah, we didn't get shut out like Arizona did the week before, so that is a plus. There we go. I didn't. I didn't expect it to go that bad, but I did expect Marshawn Lynch to come in and do what he did, and that was run all over us. Absolutely, and our defense does not seem even willing to stop him. They look like a defense that had just resigned themselves to being put up an embarrassing number on the board. Mm -hmm. And it's just hard to watch the offense, too. The line has been playing well, especially down the stretch this season. I mean, our running backs are a solid core, and there are some decent weapons. Chandler, though injured now, has been a weapon. Yeah. He's got some weapons to throw to, but the the thing that just doesn't come together is the fact that the quarterback, even though having a line that'll block for him, <coughs> running backs will take the pressure off him, and receivers, Stevie Johnson would love to have more catches, mm -hmm. you know, out there trying their best, the quarterback just can't get them the ball whatsoever, and watching T.J. Graham, who we traded up to get when we could have gotten Russell Wilson with the pick that we didn't have to trade for, and the game when Russell Wilson is embarrassing our entire team while the player that we traded up for in that same draft dropped is dropped four like passes. It, it was just, it was a hard, hard game to watch. But we always seem to do that. The players we skip on that we should pick, when we play them, they always have a great game. And it's, it's, it's crazy. Well, enough looking back. We'll continue looking forward to the Dolphins game. And we have a segment this week, Debate with a Dolphins Fan. Thanks, Randy. And now it's time for a debate with a Dolphins fan. All right, uh, this is your buddy from college, Jared. Um, yeah, my college roommate, who is a Dolphins fan, who, who joined us on the first episode of Bills. Well, not first Dolphins episode of Bills pregame. And what's his name again? Andrew. Say hi to that camera, Andrew. All right, this is Andrew Marks, number one Dolphins fan in the whole world. Well, what do we got here, Andrew? I mean, we've had this will be the eighth game we've done. Um, I don't have the record in front of me. Up oh, there's the record. So obviously you guys have had the upper hand. So what what do you would you have to say about the last three years of Bills Dolphins football? Well, I mean, yes, obviously the record speaks for itself, but also taking a look at a few trends this past season within the Bills season. Uh, first game was a blowout, and then a few weeks later we had an NFC East team blow out the Bills, and then an NFC West team blow out the Bills. So. Last week we had an NFC West team, and I don't 
say against that is we beat you the first game. That, that was So you wait. So you think the Bills are going to get blown out by the Dolphins on Sunday? Uh, just by looking at the past few weeks, uh, could be a possibility. As long as as long as we stop CJ Spiller, your main threat, then uh, we'll just let Ryan throw as much as he can, and we'll let that speak for itself. I'll wait. Uh, I'll just chime in here. Um, I think that's going to be a really close game. Um, I think Spiller is going to run for his life, uh, run all over the Dolphins like he did the first time, but in a loss for the Bills, um, just because I like watching the Bills, because Spiller is pretty good, and, um, and that's about it. I mean, I'm hoping for a Bills loss, just for a better draft pick, um, just so they don't have to trade up, so I mean, that's all I have to say, really. Well, I mean, do, okay, you were talking about the blowout, do you think that the um, the Dolphins actually have a shot for the playoffs here? Because, you know, if you beat us and then the Patriots magically, then you have yeah, a shot. We, you know what? I, we're just not at it right now. I, I think we should be playing for the future. And you have to stay, stay with your team to the end. But I think for the best interest of the Dolphins to look at getting the best draft pick possible. And there's that linebacker in Notre Dame who would look great in the fifth jersey. So. You want to lose out? You don't want to win the game? Uh, it's, it's not that I want to lose out, but, you know, we, we do have to play the Patriots, and they did lose uh, this past week, and I'm not sure specifically what, where they're trying to finish, but they are still trying to get that wild card spot, and we'll definitely be looking to play the last week of the season, so it could be an ugly game. And uh, we, we're also, we also need a lot of help from the Bengals, uh, to the feet, so I think we should definitely be playing for the future at this point. Uh, Randy, back to you. And the makeup girl was late again today. Oh, oh, Sean, thanks. You were always were professional with those outros. So, on to the topic of discussion this week. From Rams rock star fan, a Rams fan wanted to know what our feelings were on the Toronto series with the <laughs> Buffalo Bills, and if we think this is a first step towards the Bills relocating to Toronto. I don't think they'll ever go up there. I don't like it. I've never been to a game up there. I know a few people who have gone, and it's not the same atmosphere because you can't tailgate. So, I mean, Bills fans, yes, we enjoy the game, but we go to tailgate and hang out and do all the stuff you do at a tailgate, and in Canada, you can't do that. So I don't think they'll move up there permanently because it's not the same atmosphere as it is down here in Buffalo. So I don't think they'll go up there permanently. So I'm glad. What is this? Almost over now? I think that was the last one. It's been five years. They're, they're anticipating that the contract is renewed, though. Oh. For significantly less money this time. Like Ralph Wilson took them to town on that $78 million <laughs> agreement last time. The only good thing about it is when I buy my season tickets, that's two less games, so it saves me money. <laughs> Uh, I've been to college bowl games up at the stadium, and it's just a terrible venue to see a football game. You're not the crowd is so far above the field, you can see it in the television. It even looks a little odd. The yeah. field's a weird color. The indoor lighting is off. I thought it was my TV. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just it. I don't care for it as a stadium mm -hmm. that's for football purposes. I love. I've enjoyed some baseball games there. I, mm -hmm. I can't deny it. But as a football stadium, I don't think Rogers Center is what it has. Security's tough and not so much fun. And I don't know if Toronto would even want the Bills franchise. Yeah. I, I'm not saying that no team's going to go there, but they just... They, I think they enjoy the they, CFL better. They've had a, such a first-hand look at how terribly run the Bills are. I think they'd be hesitant to take that particular franchise. They'd rather see us go to L.A. and they'll try to wait for a better team to come around. Uh, but... As for Miami's concern this week, keys to the game, what do you think the Bills have to do to pull off a victory 
I think I sound like a broken record, but they need to stop the run. We got Reggie Bush, who started out well. Um, hopefully he doesn't end the season well, running all over us. But for some strange reason, even if we win games, the running back always seems to run all over us. So I think maybe we can find a way not to lose and stop Reggie Bush. I think that... It's funny that Dolphins fans are hoping to lose games, too, in order to get a better draft pick. Because I thought that was, like, what our role is right now. Like, back off. Don't take <laughs> Miami fans want to take everything that's holy from us. But, I'll so hoping to lose, I'll ask with one thing I know we won't get, and that's good quarterback play. <laughs> and I think that Miami, with a reason to play this week, will beat the Bills 28-17. Uh, to 17. I don't think they'll score that much. So I'm going 23 to 13, Miami. Very good. Well, we'll be back for our, the season for our series finale of Buffalo Bills pregame, the last show ever next week as we face off against the Jets. And we'll be sure to see all 27 of you there soon. <laughs>